Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the Performers Peer Group Celebration in honor of the 71st Annual Emmy Awards. Hello, how are you? Good. Good. Congratulations on the nomination. Thank you so much. We always like to ask, where were you the moment you found out? You know, I'm always home watching the Pretty People Emmys being announced. I call them the Pretty People Emmys because voice actors don't really be. Yeah, really I know, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I'm always refreshing the website. So me and my wife were just waiting at home since I work from home doing voiceovers. And when I found out this year, I was so happy because it seems like it's almost a transition. The first two Emmys I got was for Jane the Virgin, which we did five years on. Right. And now to do it for PBS, public broadcasting, who seems, you know, it's always a battle to get funds for public right. broadcasting. And now for it to be wonders of Mexico, it's incredibly timely where every, all the news that comes out of Mexico seems negative. And, and the way they did this documentary just paints it in such a beautiful light, the people, the culture, the food. I was just proud to be part of it. And now to have it recognized by the Television Academy, that's just, that's another level. It's icing on the cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Your voice is your instrument. What are your tricks to the trade to keeping yourself healthy? Stop hanging out at parties too much. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. This was early. <laughs> and if it's too loud of music, just step outside or try not to even talk because you realize afterward how much you hurt your vocal cords. So that's my main thing. And I don't really smoke. I drink maybe once a month. You just try to protect it as much as you can because you can't really insure it, at least not, you know, unless you're like a multimillionaire or something. <laughs> I know. We always hear of celebrities like insuring their legs or... Yeah, no, that's just another level that, uh, yeah, it would probably put me in the... I would probably go broke if I tried to do that, yeah. I know, you're like, okay, great. Yeah. Now what can I do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what projects do you have ahead? I'm uh, sure you're working on a ton of things. We're doing a... But my main thing has always been promos and movie trailers. We just right now started the campaign for uh, the Joker movie. It's a little early, but we're doing the Latin American uh, campaign for that, so I'm doing all of those trailers for that. And a couple other things that I can't really talk about yet, but there's a couple of projects that I have working on my own, translating some of the comic books to a pilot and things like that. So it's just a bunch of different things. And my whole goal has always been to try to create projects that will give other voiceovers that aren't as seen or heard, other accents, other you know ethnicities that, that aren't really part of the general voiceover casting, because we talk a lot about diversity on camera, we don't with voiceover. We don't with voiceover, yeah. and that's something that, that we really need to work on. I like that. Yeah. yeah. See, things, stories we need to tell. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. And it's up to us to tell it. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to be hearing you soon. I love yeah. that. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank you. you bet. It. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know who you are rooting for when it comes to the acting categories.